big guy. He's a big fat comedian. He's a jolly fat man. He's fat, he's funny. Funny and stupid. Yeah, I like him as a funny guy. He just makes you laugh. I don't care what kind of a mood you're in, he just makes you laugh. <laughs> big, fat and funny? Who is this guy? John Candy? Who? And in the UK, that's the problem for Hollywood's physically unlikeliest star. But his latest movie, Uncle Buck, a runaway success in America, could be the film that changes his image from big fat who to big funny somebody. Uncle Buck is the most successful realization yet of the persona, vulgar, bumbling, shambolic, yet lovable, that Candy has developed over the past 20 years. <laughs> What time do you want me to pick you up after school? Don't bother, I'll get a ride with friends. Hey, I'll just call the school, find out what time, and uh, I'll meet you right here. Go ahead, call the school. I won't be here. Stand me up today, and tomorrow, I'll drive you to school in my robe and pajamas and walk you to your first class. Candy's likable charm helped turn Uncle Buck into last summer's surprise hit. It took in excess of $60 million in America and was number one at the box office for four weeks running. I wasn't surprised by it. I, I knew it was a good picture from first reading of the script. Uh, and I know working with John Hughes, uh, the type of films he'll make. John Hughes' writing was a key element in that success. For once, Candy's impressive physical stature was harnessed to a worthwhile script, leading to a performance that highlighted his acting as well as his comedic abilities. All right, I, I like my friends. I like my freedom. I, I like knowing I can throw my sticks in the trunk of my car and go golfing anytime I want. I don't hurt anybody. I don't, I don't see what the problem is. That is the best formula for loneliness I ever heard. I enjoy comedies. I think I do them well. And given a good script, you can really show what you can do. I would just like to hear the pitter-patter of tiny feet before I die. I'll get you a mouse and a piece of sheet metal. <laughs> That's why I enjoy working with John. He writes so well for me. Um, Planes and Trains was another example. That film was Candy's previous biggest movie success, but in Britain at least, it was still very much a case of who's that fat guy in bed with Steve Martin? Why did you kiss my ear? Why are you holding my hand? Where's your other hand? Between two pillows. Those aren't pillows. It was a little more successful than some of the other pictures I had been involved with. And it started uh, really a relationship again with John Hughes. I mean, he'd written National Lampoon's Summer Vacation. That was in 1983, and it was the first of four films they'd made together, the most recent being Uncle Buck, and the first where Candy's name has had to carry the film, albeit with a little help along the way. Where do you live? In the city. Do you have a house? Apartment. On a rent? Rent. What do you do for a living? Lots of things. Where's your office? I don't have one. How come? I don't need one. Where's your wife? Don't have one. How come? It's a long story. Do you have kids? No, I don't. How come? It's an even longer story. Are you my dad's brother? What's your record for consecutive questions asked? 38. I'm your dad's brother, all right. Little Mac and I, we worked on that and uh, back and forth. We started working on it and the rhythms started picking up. John said, pick up the pace, pick up the pace. Then he said, just do a deadpan. So we did a deadpan and it was exactly like Dragnet. Little Mac, he was great, good, good little actor. It was me I was worried about. You have much more hair than you know, so my dad. How nice of you to notice. I'm a kid, that's my job. After more than 30 films, John Candy is an overnight success. He's no longer, what's his name, you know, the big fat guy. He's one of Hollywood's most bankable stars. Uncle Buck's success at the box office suggests it may only be a matter of time before he becomes equally well known in Britain, where he'll hope to get the same response from audiences as he does in America. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we love him. <laughs> and Uncle Buck opens on April the 13th.